Alright, anything else? Um, that'll be all. So 369. First day of school, man. First day of school. We back. Good morning, everybody. This is your boy Kai, aka Big Dub. We is back with something else. Today, we is going back to school. That's about it. So, I remember when I was working at Duncan, right? And um, there was a tall, lanky dude. His name was, uh, I think it was Philip. Tall, lanky dude. That's where he was get, get, fucking all the bitches at, at Duncan. So, there was this one girl that was there, thick, nice, had a child, I believe, and had a little crazy, uh, crazy boyfriend, so to speak. So, um, I was working there for like I think the most that I worked there was like three weeks, and um, and everything was cool. I ended up talking to the girl Asia. We ended up going to breakfast, doing this and that and the third, all that good stuff outside of work. Uh, we ain't never uh, got into them kind of things, but you know, it was close. And um, that so happened that happened. And then the ex boy, and then the boyfriend started to go crazy, and she stopped going to coming to work. And I guess Philip was hating on me. That was my manager at the time. I guess Philip was hating on me. And so every time I'm doing this or I'm trying to do that, he was right there over my shoulder. He wanted me to go to different areas. It was like my third week of working there. He was all over my shoulder. I couldn't do this, so he want me to go do that. Couldn't go do that, so he want me to go do this. Like, cashier, then went to go making food. I ain't never touched the food. And then he wanted me to try to unload stuff, and then they so happy they got busy. Hey, uh-uh. You don't see we getting busy? Oh, my fault. Got back to doing cashier. And this is, like, my third week, so I still needed some time to, like, learn every single thing. Because I ain't work every day out the week. I only work maybe two to three days. So, every so, eventually he started tripping and he called me worthless. I called a blackout. I almost knocked his head off, but I dipped on him. And that was it. This is when I first got out of uh, the college prep. I ended up having two jobs less than three days. I was working at Dunkin' Donuts and I was working at Zaxby's. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was so broke, it wasn't even funny. I was in debt. I ain't had no money. I mean, I got broke off of that school. I was struggling. I was really struggling. I was at a hard. I was in a hard space. Um, throughout that time, very hard space. But yeah, so I went to grab me some Dunkin', and so I wanted me wanted to tell you a story about how I lost my job at Dunkin'. Good old days. Forgot. I needed two notebooks. That's crazy. And they close. Most time they usually open, yo. God damn. That's fucked up. I really should have got my shit out. I really should have got my shit before. I was at Walmart yesterday, man. But I went to Walmart a little late. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. <laughs> Only 7.30. I got a lot going on. 
Very heavy here. Back at it again. That's how far it can go. By the way, if the whole video sounds a little odd and funny to you, it's just because I can grab my right microphone. All right, so all that I'm doing right now, I'm just figuring out where all my classes is at. So I can be able to um, go to my classes with no problem. I should have done this last night, but I was tired. My girl wants to do some funny challenges with me, so that's gonna be happening in the pond. I think there's gotta be an easier way of doing this because I don't think this shit gonna work. And then, um, also, of course, one of the main things on why I really want to do Black Talk is that we're going to be talking about life in general. I need some notebooks. I got too many things going on all at once. God damn, look at that price. If I were to go to Family Dollar, man, that should be a dollar. All right, not bad, but I can tell you for sure that everything that I got is online, so that's a good plus. I ain't gotta do a damn thing. All I can do is just wake up, shine, this and that and the third, and I'm all right. That's a good deal, I ain't gonna cap. But one thing in particular that I'm not used to, I'm not good at, I'm not good at online. I'm more of a face-to-face -face individual. So, this is like a good, a whole big game changer. But what I'm really excited about is that when I get, when I get kids five to 10 years from now, I let them, I'm letting them all know, shit, we had to go through a whole lot. We had to deal with riots. We had to watch killings. We had to do things online. We got to wear masks. A lot of shit that I'm really excited about when I get kids, so. This life of ours is different. But, um, going to the crib. I got next class at 11. So, that's about it. If I don't hit y'all up by the time. I forgot where my truck is located. But if I don't hit y'all back at all, thanks for watching. Um, I will get back at y'all probably Wednesday. Video coming soon, so stay tuned after that. And y'all let life be blessed. Okay, time out. How you doing? Yep. Trying to figure out where my car at. I could have sworn I put my car here. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this workout in. I don't know if I'm gonna work out now or should I work out later. I'm trying to be smart with this just because you know, that I'm, now that I'm in school, I don't want to put what my workouts first. I don't want to put the YouTube first. But also, I still want to add it all in between. But this is like, this is my income that I'm trying to gain from. So I want to keep y'all on game about everything that's going on. So, I mean, thank y'all for watching once again, man. I appreciate all my people that are actually in tune of everything that I got going on, that's enjoying the whole process of me making these vlogs, watching it, supporting it, everybody. But that being said, y'all live y'all life. I will see y'all when I see y'all. I'm out of 5,000. Um, stay tuned on the Black Talk that I got coming up, and y'all have a beautiful day. Love y'all.